Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Ultima 4, Quest of the Avatar. We are here at Lord British's castle. We are ready to dive back down into the dungeons and uh, start working on our other checklist. So we were working on the grinding checklist, but we had this checklist to do as well. And um, there are some things I want to do here. Um, at Lord British's castle, we got some people to level up. And uh, I also want to ask him about the principles because somebody, and I think truth, love, courage might be the right way to go, but somebody suggested that I get from, um, I don't know if I have it here. No, uh, that, that I get from, uh, Lord British, the, ask him about the principles and get the order that he gives them. And that's probably the order of the, of the word here. I'm not quite sure I, where I got the courage, truth, and love order that I currently have it in. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. But we have to get the keys to the codex, which we have to do with the altars. First, we have to get the stones. And let's uh, talk about the stones a little bit. So I, I, I think I had this one. Somebody had told me this at some point. Um, the stones for the altar room of love. And what I noticed was the order given matches um, north, south, east, west. Despise, high fluff, wrong, covetous, yellow, white being high fluff, green being wrong, and orange being covetous. And I was like, aha, you know, I'm, I'm learning finally. I, I by, by the way, my software tells me how many hours I've been playing this game. I'm about, I'm over 80 hours at this point playing this game. So uh, I, I'm starting to learn how this game works. So based on that and knowing what the various dungeons are that are associated with the, with the with the altar rooms, I've come up with what the combinations are of these various, various gems, stones, whatever you want to call them. So, yeah. So that's kind of a nice little thing, but we've got to get down there first. And to do that, um, we need to first get up here, Lord British. You will notice that our food is a little bit higher than it was when we left off last time and that's because i did take a little bit of time off cam and i went up to scarbray and i spent the majority of what what we had left and and topped up our food so we're at six thousand food we should be good on that uh hopefully so let's talk to lord british so joffrey's now level six john is now level four which is excellent i could use a little bit of health so I will get topped off that last 15 hit points. What else? Uh, principles. Um, quest. Eight virtues. Oops. All right. Virtues. Blah, 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 blah. And humility. What else? Um... Passage, word, courage, serpent's cat. Okay, this, so this tells us, but I thought he had something that would tell us, and I thought it was principles. Isn't it, aren't they called principles? Now I'm confused, because I thought it was going to be principles. All right, then if I say love, it's going to tell me about Empath Abbey. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. Um, all right. Well, then, all right, I, 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 I know he told us about that, but I'm not quite sure what the, uh, what the trigger was for him to tell me that. And I guess it's not principle, which is what I expected it to be, but we'll just, we'll make do with that. Uh, we actually don't need that until we get to the, um, you know, actually get to the, uh, the, the abyss. So, so it's not something we need for this dungeon crawl that we're getting ready to do. All right. What was this guy? Water. You don't say. Shepherdess job name. 
watch. It brings me peace. I come from Belt City. No, okay, this is how we, yeah, this is how we learned about Magencia, I guess. Okay, all right, whatever. I don't remember that, but it's been 80 hours. Oh my God. All right, so we're gonna go down the high floff through this door like we did last time. All right, we gotta jimmy this lock. Descend and cast a light spell so we can actually see. Oh, what, what, what? Oh crap, I wasted a gem right there. Period of gem. So that's just nothing. All right, so that's fine. I didn't think there was anything up here, but I, I, I'm bummed that I kind of wasted a wasted a gem on that. But all right, so we're gonna descend down to level eight because that was the only thing there was. The mythology of the white stone is that it used to be here in Dungeon Highfloff, and then it got um, it got moved to where we found it, uh, and we found it. So the there. You know, there are all these levels, you know, level seven through one that we got to via that other direction that we did not get to because we were we were starving. Uh, and I'm not going to bother uh, searching those. There's probably a lot of good loot in there. There's probably some of those orbs we could find there, but there's no stones. So I'm going to be laser focused on the stones and um, and not worry about exploring every single level of high fluff. And I'm probably going to do the same thing with the other dungeons. If we find this one, we're start, we're sort of we're going to be starting I think kind of at the bottom of most of these dungeons cuz we're coming in from the from the altar rooms. If uh if it's going to be uh you know, we find the stone, we're done with that dungeon, we're moving on. I'm, I'm, we're going to kind of do a speed run a little bit. We're not going to do a let's search every nook and cranny of these things. All right, so let's Pier to gem. So here we are. We are the red dot, um, and I know from from looking at at my notes from last time, uh, the northern route up here took us to the um, door to the altar of courage. I think that might be what this bigger room is, and then um, going to the west here. So uh, let's see. Let's, south was the ladder to level seven, right here. Uh, going to the west led to uh, the alt, no, this is the West, the altar of truth and the, or, the, or love and the altar of truth. And then uh, coming over here to the East was the door to the altar of courage. So I guess we need to figure out which one we want to tackle first. And so I don't know that it really matters all that much. I'm tempted to go to deceit. And deceit would be in truth. Um, just to find out the color of that stone, not for any particular reason. Um, and so if we look at this again, that would be heading, we would have to head to truth. And the altar of truth is door number two here. So we'd have... These are the energy fields, the poison fields. So we would have three of these we have to dispel, and then we can get up there and we can get to the altar of truth. And I think that's what we're going to do. All right, so we are going to turn to the west here, go forward. Cast the spell. There's door number one. We aren't going to worry about that. Whoops. The spell. Okay. Oh, and we have insects to fight. Well, let's get them fought. And a rat. And a rat. All right, good. Well, let's just start fighting. Uh, magic bow. I'm not anticipating something like this is going to stand up for very long to our magical 
implements and that certainly oh that's these two guys are the are the uh that's our our people that are all melee all right there's nothing over there i'm gonna step up Ugh. All right, we've got one set of insects and one rat. I should have Joffrey move out so he can actually try to move up, but I didn't. Lightly wounded from that rat. So, a little surprising. Here's a wand in your face, he's dead. All right, one thing of Insects left. Oops. Wrong guy. Interesting. Were they fleeing? All right. So, just for chuckles, I'm going to save. <laughs> because I can. And let's go through the door. Okay, so here we are. This is the throne room to the uh this should be the altar of truth um we got to fight these demons thankfully there's no balrons and then we will be heading from here we will be heading north out of here so let's uh take care of these guys and get them dead as fast as humanly possible All right, I'm going to... I don't think we can fire through these posts. This isn't like the best. Possible. Um, layout for us. I wonder if we can fire over. If we can fire over the uh, altar. I think we're going to find out. All right, good. Demon killed. That's one down. Lightly wounded. Oh, we can fire over the altar. That's good news. All right. And then there was one. All right. I guess I'll move you up. I don't know. We're going to, before I get anybody else in position, he's going to be gone. All right. So we want to go to the north. I'm going to get everybody out before me. And I'm just going to kind of hang out here in front of the, in front of the altar until everybody's at least past me. Scintillating video here, me watching each person Step by step. <laughs> It'll get quicker. Whoops. Oh, okay. Oh, we can. Uh, I guess I could move myself. Because I'm f tracing along behind them. So I will go ahead and move them. All right, there we go. So now we are in Dungeons of Seat. Let's peer at a gem. Okay, so we are on level eight. I'm curious what's to the south of us. Is there another door to the south of us? Because we're facing north right now. So I think that's the door we came in. I think, I'm not quite sure how to read this. And I don't know what the T's mean. All right, but we'll 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 move on and so this is we're facing north now. So there's the door we came in on. 
Okay, let's let's switch to the notes real fast because I made a saved an image of this. I, I'm not quite sure what this hallway is here with the little air up arrows. Those must be ladders. So obviously we didn't pass any ladders. So we're gonna have to go down here through the T's, whatever the heck that is, and then down here, and then we're just gonna have to keep, you know, then we'll have to move our way up. We are on level eight. You'll see it says level eight up there. So we are on level eight. So let's get a move on. So we're gonna go forward. I wanna look this way. This is like a big loop. I'm assuming that we don't have to be like searching everywhere. That might be a big that might be a big assumption. Okay, interesting. So where those T's are, there's supposed to be a T like right in front of me. And there's nothing. But we have is that supposed to be like a trap door up there? Oh, they're traps. That's what this is. So we have falling rocks. And more falling rocks. And we're going to have falling rocks all the way to this door. Oh, God, gremlins. Can they, can they cross the water? I don't know. Oh, you got a sword. You're not much help. You have a sword. All right. I forget what the power of these, I forget what they're called. Oh, they can do that crap. All right. As soon as me or Shamino wakes up, we need to cast a negate. Oh my God, these guys are horrible. All right, so I'm, aw no, I'm not awake. Yes, I'm awake. All right, Jana, she can't cast anything. All right, Gizmo, I'm gonna cast negate. And that will prevent them. Whoops, that's my melee guys. That will prevent them from any more of those sleep spells for a while. All right. Dupree. Shamano. They seem to be using the gremlins as like foot soldiers. Lightly wounded. These guys seem to have a lot of... Uh, a lot of health. Okay. Iolo. Come on, Iolo. This is not the time for you to start going all missy missy. Heavily wounded. I like the sound of that. Joffrey's got the mystic. So I'm just going to move these mystic, the, the sword people kind of out of the way so I know not to bother letting them try to attack because it's not going to work. Reaper critical. Did I see that one? You know, Reaper's fleeing. Well, good luck for that. You're on an island. Oh, gosh. Ooh, gold. I don't think we can get that. Well, obviously, we got to finish killing everybody. That's not going to work before that can happen. Two down. All right. Um, Mystic Sword, you need to get out of the way. All right, I need you someplace where you can actually hit somebody. Really? Oh, that gremlin's fleeing. I, I was surprised he had um, enough stamina to stand up to that and not be killed in one shot. All right. Guess you can come over here and help me. It doesn't help when you miss. There we go.
That one's fleeing. Whoops. There's nobody there. You're not lined up with anybody there. Heavily wounded. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. Come on, Ayolo. There we go. Finished them off. Shamino fi finished them off. All right. So now we just got this one Reaper left. Yeah, I forgot they put us to sleep. All right. Very good. Yeah, we can't walk in the, on the water. So all that beautiful gold we can't get. Uh, I'm just taking a second here and just kind of looking around, looking for any secret walls, but there aren't any. And given the way, given the way the map looked, I'm not terribly surprised by that. So let's, uh, we'll have to, let's work on getting out of here. So we gotta work our way around the room. Uh, you have to wait a minute. I didn't leave you a spot to go into. All right, we'll do that. You gotta wait now. Everybody's gotta, oh! Oh, bloody hell. Who is that over there, Shamino? I'm kind of guessing where Shamino is. If he moves, no. Okay, I thought I kind of expected those bridges to leave, to disappear, but they haven't. Okay, I'm gonna come over. You're gonna stay put. You guys can come down. You can come down. Stay. Oh, they're on both sides. Oh, bloody hell. I could have moved them down. All right. Never mind. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Everybody's down. Uh, yeah, idiot. All right, because I want to get the gold myself just because the person with the highest, I think it's agility or whatever, and that's usually me, uh, is the best one to do this to avoid traps and whatnot. Plus, I've got the most XP hit points or whatever. Um, so it kind of makes sense for me to do that so that, um, you know, I'm kind of being a tank for everybody else. They don't have to take one for the team. I'm taking one for the team. All right. I'm a little nervous that maybe these would disappear uh, if there's not somebody on either side because they just seem to kind of show up. So I'm going to get like all but two of the, of the people out of here while I'm on this island because I don't want to get trapped. And that way, if I need to have them march up and down to uh, to bring it back, you know, if, it, if the bridges do disappear on me, then uh, I've got them there to do that. All right. All right. Skip you. Come over. Skip you. Out. I, I'm noticing that there's another, there's another uh, gold chest there in that first spot, even though I grabbed a gold chest there. So I'm kind of curious about that. Okay, so there's no other chest in the middle. So if I get back over here. Eighty three gold. All right, I don't th I think I did something by accident there. Okay, so that's the last one there. Yep. Wrong one. Acid trap. Oh, 
Okay, so that's it. Ugh. Okay, so we got the gold. We're already up to 480, which isn't bad. So we got about 100, 150 or so. I think we were like at 330. I mean, gold is really at this point kind of the least of our worries. And I suppose when we get out of here, we might be in a position where we need to buy some more food. So we'll definitely need some, but we're pretty well outfitted. Um, we may need to we may need to stock up on some things before we head to the abyss. Well, I don't want to go out yet. I'm skipping me. Skipping me. Oh, I got poisoned. Oh, okay. All right, there we go, poison. And we have falling rocks because there's more traps. Um, and there's a pit. Oh, and we have gazers. Do they put it? To, I think these, I don't know that these guys put us to sleep. Whoops, you, you are not gonna help. Um, all right, you're gonna have to come over. You're gonna have to go over there. Okay. You come over here. Joffrey. I'm not certain any of these guys are gonna get down to sword range. Um, oh, somebody's sleeping. So these guys do put us to sleep, but, but not with a spell that... I keep having my melee people do things. With a spell that uh, does it, they do it with the, with the little targeted... I think they're still spells, but... All right, Joffrey, come out of here. Right. And Joffrey might be able to to get a little steel on him. Or at least one of them. Alright. And then there were two. Gaze are fleeing. Good luck with that. Giving your placement. I'm gonna get up there. Well, that's not gonna be helpful because you are melee. All right. And now he's sleeping. I was kind of hoping he'd get a little XP, but not gonna happen. Because now he's sleeping on the job. 49 gold. All right, let's just take a minute here and look at our map again. So we are like right here. We've got this circle here. And then we've got another room that's going to be uh, probably another uh, room where we have to fight people, like, just like in here. So more of these guys came while I was talking. All right, Katrina. We still got half of the party practically sleeping. All right. Acid trap. All right, let's move on. So this should be a, I should be able to walk around this in a circle. And I can. And then we have this door here. Okay, so we've got headless and gazers and gold and and then we have the way to move on. That's one of our, oh, hey, everybody's awake. There we go. 
There we go. You're just, we got to kind of make some room because we got three people that are just stuck behind everybody else. So let's get these guys at least out where they might be able to do something. We're kind of in an odd configuration here because, all right, Joffrey can go up. Katrina, you're just kind of stuck in the back, so there's no help for you here. Joffrey might be able to get up and do a little wacky wacky, but uh, he's probably the last. He's probably going to be the only one of the melee folks. And maybe not. Oh, that was Katrina. She's just warming up. All right, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. Oh, I guess, oh, oh that was kind of rude. Come on, Joffrey. All right. We've got, we're down to the one. One gazer. Heavily wounded. Uh, ugh, crap. I might as well have Katrina start making her way across the bridge toward the exit because uh okay so here's what's gonna ooh i'm gonna have to well i'm gonna have to wait for them anyway so we're gonna get everybody out of here i'm gonna go get the gold and hopefully before i get the gold or before all the gold is gotten um who's sleeping jana jana's gonna wake up that's my hope. Because otherwise I'm going to have to wait around for Jonna to wake up. Because she can't leave the room if she's asleep. But we'll get the rest of these folks on their way. Waiting for me in the hallway. Whoops, up. I'm not looking at the right person. I gotta look at the person that's blinking. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's other people. I'm like, hey, I'm there. 77 gold. Made an acid trap. Oh, good. Jana woke up. All right. Uh, okay, Jana. I'm a little concerned because I don't know if you've noticed it, but John's going to hang out here with me. Crap. Um, a bridge has disappeared. Ugh, God darn it. 71 gold. And I'm not quite sure why. I'm not quite sure why. Oops.
So I'm guessing there is a someplace on here. There is a tripwire. Yeah, I can't cross there. So I'm going to have to, I don't know if it's across the bridge there, but I'm going to have to be methodical about it and have Jana step on everything because I didn't exactly notice when it disappeared. Okay, so I've stepped on every tile now, I think, or Jana has. And that has not made it come back. So I'm guessing it's because I took some of my party over here. That there's something over here that is a trip that's a acts as a trip or whatever to make that section of bridge reappear otherwise I'm stuck here and I don't really know how to get out Uh, bother. I don't know what to do about this. I don't see any hidden walls. I seem to remember that there was a wall one place where it didn't really look hidden until you tried to step into it. So I'm going to have Jana, and I guess I'll do it up here. just try to step into all these walls and see if that unlocks anything for us. Ah. Looking at Jana and moving me. Okay. Okay. Move up. Move down. Move up. Oh, look at that. There it is. I was I couldn't see that to save my life. All right. Get over here, Jana. That's tricksy and kind of evil. If I do say so myself. Okay. So here we are. There's a ladder there. And then we should have go around a little S curve here and there should be another ladder there. Awesome. Let's quickly hole up and camp because we can do that here in a hallway. And I think we're gonna let that be that with this episode. We've started the great uh, dungeon uh, Spelunk. And uh, I think we'll probably start with that ladder because it's closest and we'll go up to level seven of Dungeons of Seat and we'll keep looking around for the stone uh, and um, see if we can find it. But uh, thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you come back for the next one. Obviously, we're going to start right here and uh, I'll see you then. So until then, be seeing you. Oh,